Weather Authority. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Well, looking off towards the northern parts of the country, we are seeing some of that winter weather, winter storm warnings and watches through parts of Montana into North Dakota as well. That same cold air will be working its way in towards the state of Texas as we kind of go in towards next week. Uh, not expecting anything for the weekend or at least until the beginning of the weekend. Right now, still dealing with those showers across the state of Texas. Most of that activity uh, still extending from the Concho Valley uh, up to the north and northeast in towards parts of the Metroplex along the Red River in towards Oklahoma. And again, those showers just in the past hour really staying persistent into the eastern parts of the Concho Valley that has seen uh, some of that flood those flood watches uh, for the southeastern parts of the Concho Valley heavy rain in towards parts of Menard Brady uh, adding additional rain as well and then Junction have seen has seen some significant rain totals uh, now up to over four inches in some spots so again uh, still looking at those showers to kind of persist for the next couple of hours slowly working its way to the east but uh, because it's slowly moving and generally moisture is working its way from the south. So again, that's where you get those lines that just dumps a lot of rain in certain locations. The flooding threat is still going to continue into the evening for the eastern parts of the Concho Valley. By tomorrow, though, uh, that's likely to push off towards the east. And again, let's uh, recap on what we're expecting for those flash, uh, not the flash flood, but the flood watches uh, into the southeastern parts of the Concho Valley. That's where we've seen those rain totals just in the past couple hours really kind of run up there. Uh, you're seeing several spots getting in between that two to four inches of rain just in today. Uh, that's what we saw through the central parts of the Concho Valley, but for the most part, everyone picked up at least one to two inches of rain. So again, some very beneficial rain throughout the area, but in some spots, uh, maybe too much rain uh, considering some of the flooding threat that we've seen along the low water the low water roadways. Uh, one, uh, but three and a half inches of rain in Sonora, four inches for Junction, just over two inches out at the airport here in San Angelo. Though fairly quiet conditions, those skies have mostly cleared out, but the temperatures and dew points starting to meet, meet up. This is what we watch for uh, when we talk about the threat for fog. So those clear skies allowing us to cool down to that dew point. Uh, as these temperatures cool down, again, it can't get past the dew point, can't go below that. And that's what's gonna start to kind of uh, put that moisture out in the atmosphere. So we will have the chance for some fog through the overnight hours. Rain chances continuing to decrease, mostly staying into the eastern parts of the Concho Valley. But that fog to start off the day could be a little bit of a uh, hassle for your morning commute. That's going to start to kind of mix out and burn off by about 9 to 10 a.m. Uh, that's when we'll start to see the visibility improving as you go through the overnight hours. Again, could see some of that patchy fog overnight by starting off your day Thursday. Still likely see that fog uh, persisting into the late morning hours, though. Everything quickly improving. We'll look at partly cloudy skies kind of as we go in towards the afternoon. Look at those showers still persisting, but then we'll see quiet conditions going Going in towards uh, the weekend. Still some spotty showers. The next push of cold air, though, uh, that's what we're going to be watching for late Sunday. Cold air, again, dropping temperatures into the 40s and 30s. Uh, we're going to be seeing some much cooler temperatures just in time for Halloween. So warm temperatures for the next couple of days. Then late Sunday, that's when we're watching that cold front pulling those highs down into the 40s and 50s.